I wouldn't say he needs no introduction, but definitely needs at least a little bit of an opening. Mr. Mojo Rising. Um, I think last time I was on commentary, I mentioned he's kind of a hidden boss here, and he's kind of been one since Smash 4. He's really been turning up lately, and he has wins on people such as um, Suarez, Stocktaker. Um, I believe he actually beat Sone yesterday at the meta. Um, and wins like that, yeah. He he's a good player. He is a Donkey Kong main, and he's known for having a very strong punish game. Yes, that's probably one of his better aspects as a player, the fact that he can just... If someone makes a mistake, he'll recognize it. And if he recognizes it, he'll just blow you up for it. Whether you take massive damage, a stock loss, or even just getting stage disposition. Kind of like this. <laughs> and that's how Mafia works. Yep. See, All that's right. what I'm talking about. And I'm expecting the set to be very explosive because Ike's options to deal with that are kind of limited in all honesty. His recovery is very linear, which means it's really pretty easy for Mojo to intercept with, say, back airs and down airs. And his options to get down aren't that great either. And he's very heavy, so he's going to be eating a lot of these combos. Meanwhile, on the flip side of things, Don Kong himself is a fairly oh, large target. And that's an important thing to note. Um, while um, Ding Dong doesn't work from the ground, it'll still work from platforms, as you'll see there. Whoever gets you closer to the ceiling, though, so. Okay, so yeah, from what I know about okay. Sone, I believe I consider him a pretty neutral base player, and he's also pretty solid at ledge trapping as well. I would say that's correct. He's always been a tried and true Ike player. As far back as I've known him. Mm -hmm. And he's been, like, slowly bringing himself back into the scene, staying active at uh, metas and aeons. Mm -hmm. He can't really show up during the summer because he um, works at a summer camp. Correct. But, but it looks like he's starting to get something started here. While uh, Mojo and uh, DK can have some very strong punishes, getting out of disadvantage isn't very easy for DK himself. Yeah, you brought up the topic of linearity earlier when it came to recovery, and Donkey Kong is pretty heavy in that aspect as well. But he doesn't have uh, nearly that great of vertical movement. Mm -hmm. So if someone manages to stay consistent with his edge guards against mm -hmm. Mojo, this could tie itself back up. Yep, it looks like he's starting to bring it back. But one grab, that might be it. Yep. Dang, Don, I'm yeah, not sure about the exact window, but I wouldn't be surprised if um, Ike's window to get platform DKO'd is very wide, just what because of his of physics. Yeah, it seemed like Stone even tried to DI fairly like mm -hmm. outwards from that, and Mojo was just able to trace him well. Yep. It just looks like Mojo started off that uh, match by just making Stone explode, and the adaptations were like a little too little too late, but maybe he'll be able to bring those in the game too. FD is the pick, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I feel like um, Sone decided to go to FD here um, to reduce uh, Mojo's access to um, DKO because it's very reliant on having a platform to jump up to in this game. So we're not going to be seeing any uh, DKOs in this match unless maybe he's one of the characters that he can still get hit by. Yeah, I feel like on top of that, you're also limiting the options that DK has at the ledge. No mm -hmm. platforms to speak of. As long as Sone yep. stays consistent, that's a dead stock at the ledge. And it looks like So is doing a lot better of a job of uh, hitting Mojo in neutral right now. And that counter off stage is going to be very threatening. DK has a lot of trouble getting around that because, um, like you mentioned, uh, game one, his recovery is about as linear as it gets. And that eruption is going to be a big problem, too. So sort of mirroring like what we saw. It. Oh, oh, no. The buffered air dodge. The Smash Ultimate special. That's unfortunate. But a Hey, at least it's best of five territory. Mojo's got plenty of games to play with, and he's got all the time in the world to bring himself back in here. This is looking like a kind of a reversal of game one, where Zoe's just continuing to win this neutral and just converting it into, like, keeping Mojo at ledge, getting those big... Oh, maybe Ike's... Maybe Ike is one of the characters that still works on Final Destination. Or maybe Zoe just picked the wrong option. Yeah, I was going to say, that might have been suspect the Ike, because he was, like, gone, gone as soon as yep. that up air connected. Big delete. Either it might have been too little too late to connect it. As Ooh, Sone's already got Mojo. It's Ooh. a deep damage territory. But it's Donkey Kong. He's got no trouble issuing damage of himself. But he has trouble getting hit by that. Yeah. That's the curse so, of being a big boy. Um, Mojo has basically convinced me that DK is a giant hurt box with like no defensive options that just gets hit, by, hit a lot. But in exchange, 
He has arson, just like Joker, but it never turns off. What do you think about that? It's it's an interesting analogy because it's implying that like everything that he hits is going to lead itself into something good mm -hmm. one way or another, be it more damage, a kill, stage advantage. And that's true to mm -hmm. say for a lot of Donkey Kong's tools. Ooh, I do know. Okay. I actually really like this pick for Mojo. Everything mm -hmm. stays fairly close in. He's got wider platforms to play around with. And it's really easy to reach the platforms no matter what part of the stage he's on, too. So he can easily get those platform DKOs if he needs them. Game 3 is going to be setting a very dangerous precedent mm -hmm. for this set. But it seems like Sone's doing a pretty good job of keeping Mojo out in neutral, which is what he has to do. Because if you get hit by Mojo, stuff like, um, well, not that, but you can see where it might have been going. Oh yeah, it's it's like you just mentioned. He's in such close proximity to these platforms that if the percentages line themselves up right, he's getting brought upwards. Oh, that was a nice conversion there. I know that Mojo really likes doing um, those headbutts to ledge. It's good. The armor keeps mm -hmm. him safe. He's been landing a ton of berries mm -hmm. in tonight's bracket. Mm -hmm. And um, headbutt has one of the longer berry times in the game too. Oh, the Mojo's going for the high um, recovery mix-up to avoid the eruption. And he's just getting a huge amount of damage from these up airs here. This is a great second stock. All but right. Sone's immediately able to turn it around. Took advantage of that whiff punch. So just a fun fact about punch, um, fully charged giant punch, while it's pretty unsafe on whiff, it's actually very safe on block. Um, if you get hit by, if your shield gets hit by fully charged giant punch, you should just like not even bother trying to punish it. It's like minus four or something like that. That's kind of ridiculous in the grand scheme of ultimate. There's not a lot of moves in general that are safe on block, but minus four is like, mm -hmm. he's big chilling. And it pushes him back so far too. It's probably better to just respect him if he does that. Oh, that's another berry? Yep. And berry to down smash is gonna take it. He got that down tilt hit the row behind. <laughs> he did like jab three and say that too. That's, ugh. Gotta give credit to So for at least being able to like fight these comebacks mm -hmm. really well because when Mojo gets his stock, it's such a commanding mm -hmm. lead he manages. When Mojo gets momentum, it can be really hard to make it back, especially when he has a lot of rage because that's gonna make his KOs just happen even earlier. But it looks like he's doing a good job of bringing this back unless he gets hit by the platform DKO. Oh no! And that's probably the first and last time that we'll see Son retreat to the Legend Shield because <laughs> you even see it in his reaction. It's. It was a death It's really, sentence. really scary. Talent for the pick, okay. And the thing is, um, a lot of those kill confirms like that um, got removed in the transition between Smash 4 and Ultimate. So I feel like a lot of players aren't used to playing around that kind of stuff anymore. It's always something to be aware of, especially I feel like with Donkey Kong, because traditionally he's always been a character that's just getting something wacky off of his grip. <laughs> Cargo there was just such a unique tool mm -hmm. that never seems to it's be balanced so strong, quite too. right. Mm -hmm. So this game is starting off uh, pretty even. Kind of seems like a little uh, slobber knocker. I like this stage pick because, like, of course the lack of platforms will give Sone an advantage, but also mm -hmm. I feel like the platform layout is... Rem the fact that it's remaining dynamic, it's going to force... Constant adjustments from Mojo if he mm -hmm. wants to try and get anything off of him. Also, Town and City has a very high ceiling, which is going to um, stop DKO from KOing quite as early if the window will even work on him at all. In general, a very smart pick from mm -hmm. Sone that's going right off the rails. It's almost mirroring game two outside mm -hmm. of, you know, the unfortunate SD. Yep. Sone just seems like he um, just got this momentum here. And Mojo is having a lot of trouble getting out of disadvantage. He does know about the oh. projectile part, right? Well, he knows now. Yeah, Eruption <laughs> has a really big hitbox during the later stages of the charge. I don't know if Mojo knew he was in range for that. Well, he definitely knows. Although, to be fair, I feel like a lot of people don't see max Eruption, mm -hmm. especially in bracket. Eruption's, like, not a bad tool, though. No, not at all, especially against a big target mm -hmm. like DK. So, um, something to note, um, a lot of DK's tools aren't very safe on hit at low percents. So, um, have you seen a Waidu's tweet that DK should be banned because his down tilt's RNG? Mm. <laughs> I don't know about this one. 
Oh, <laughs> big chop coming in to bring us into game five. Big swing. Well, hang on. If we got to ban Donkey Kong for that, we got to ban uh, Kirby for that, too. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You, we got to ban Kirby because down tilt's RNG. Sometimes you punish him on hit, and sometimes he kills you. Doesn't every character have, like, one move that has, like, a decent early percentage chance of uh, tripping? Not every character. There's a lot, though. I've definitely seen trips out of, like, really awkward situations. Mm -hmm. Zelda can do it. Toon Link can do it. Toon Link's Nair uh, trips. Um, earlier on in Bracket today, I saw um, a Game Watch player here named Gamma trip a Palutena in Bracket with Bucket. Ooh. Definitely don't want to think about that. All right, well, here we are for Game 5. And we're going to be going back to Town & City. I'm pretty sure someone wants to stay with these high ceilings because... He does not want to die to that DKO off the top. Now, why do you think Mojo got us here? Because Mojo got kind of sauced in game four. Hmm. I'm not sure. Do you think he's just sticking to the... Believing in the platforms? <laughs> well, let's... It looks like Stone's just... Giving him the works right now, though. Especially with oh, that spot no. dodge war right there. Straight this zero is going to be really hard to bring back. But Mojo's the kind of player who can do it. Oh, it's definitely possible, especially given the matchup at hand. Mm -hmm. But someone's not giving Mojo enough time to, like, breathe. He's not giving him any breathing situation. room at all, man. Ooh, oh, another that air dodge off stage, but he barely makes it. No, he oh! does not. Oh. The super armor on Ike's Aether is going to come in clutch there. Nerf but not gone. That gives Sona a phenomenal lead. It's going to be really hard to make this back. We're looking on route to have Sone occupying the winner's spot of Grand Finals at this rate, but... I think the download's kind of complete here. What? Be careful with that Ooh. down air. It was the right option, but just not spaced right. I don't think I've ever seen Ooh. Sone press so many down. buttons. Neither have I. He's usually pretty patient. But he just... I think he kind of noticed DK's defense isn't the great, and he's one of those characters where you can really go in, as long as you know what you're doing. Jump stolen, does not get the forward smash. Oh, it looks like Mojo might be starting to make this back, but he's off stage against... So it's Ike, that's going to be scary. But he's able to make it on. Oh, he's looking for his hit confirm, whether it's back air, neutral air, down tilt's going to be not doing much. Oh, Inside platform tech chase, and... That Still alive, quick drawing it. right above the forward this might smash. Be a lot closer than we initially thought. Oh, but the spot dodge, the forward, forward tilt, tilt and game five. End that game. Zone's occupying the winner's side grand finals tonight. That was a very good set. That was. That was a very good back and forth, and we got to give it to Zone. That was 